Three violin con con concertos I would take to a lonely island. Um, I don't think I would take my violin to a lonely island. But if I did, I would take the Beethoven concerto and the Beethoven concerto and then the Beethoven concerto. Brahms concerto and Shostakovich, the first violin concerto, because I am playing it. Mexican food dinner. Favorite Mexican food dinner? Um, well, I need to be taken to, I've been told I need to try uh, tacos al pastor. Um, but I love all Mexican food. I make a really mean guacamole too. Two role model violinists. Uh, boy. Well, my teacher, Aaron Roseanne, was a big inspiration. He just passed away very recently this month at the age of 92. Um, incredibly hard worker and amazing, amazing violinist. Um, who else? Uh, wow. And there's so many good violinists these days. Mila Josefowitz, Alicia Matashvili, James Ennis, uh, Kalakos, Frank Peter Zimmerman, so many, so many, Janine Jansen, so many. Um, LA Dream Meal, sushi, 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 I don't know, perfect romantic violin sonata. I love the foray violin sonata. Um, I don't know if the Brahms G major is a romantic sonata, it's pretty romantic. Um, the Mozart violin work. Well, my favorite piece of all time, it's weird, it's half a violin concerto, half of the old concerto, the Mozart and Symphony Concertant. That's just the piece that makes me the most happy. I don't know why. It has everything. <laughs> Any wardrobe malfunction before a concert ever. Um, sometimes when I wear tails, which I don't do very often, my cummerbund will pop off onto the floor and it's very embarrassing and I either need to hold it behind me. Um, but no, I've never had my pants fall off during a concert. But it's always the first time. Favorite showcase piece? Um, well, I don't seem to play those anymore. I think I'm too old. But when I was younger, if I would play a very difficult piece called Sasa, uh, the Caprice by uh, Sasa. Sasa is like Caprice. Ridiculously hard piece. Um, and introduction, introduction in Rado Capriccioso a lot as a kid, too. Um, <laughs> this just says Scott Yu. Um, I don't know. We don't have enough time. Actually, let's go back to Scott Yu. Scott Yu is one of the craziest, most talented, most hardworking, most funny, most loyal friends that I have. Mexico City, Phil. I am so happy to. I just had my first rehearsal with Mexico City, Phil. Just coach, so fun, and I hope to get to know people a little bit more this week. We'll see, but I'm very excited to be in Ciudad de Mexico, and it appears our card game. 